sales tax and discounts. Um, basically, you're going to run into these problems where you don't just find the tax, you've also got to find the discount. And it's very important that you follow the order of these. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to find the discount. So the discount's 50% and the original price was 60 bucks. So we're going to use these two numbers and uh, we use our calculator to go calculate it. So 50% became 0.50 and we find that we have a $30 discount. Now, that's how much you're saving. So step two is literally take the original price 60 and subtract this $30 discount. It'll look like this. This amount that you get is called your discounted price. That's how much you're actually going to pay for it before taxes. Um, the next step is, is please just find the tax of this new discounted price. This is really, really important. That's what we're going to be using to find the tax on. And your tax percentage is 3%. So it's 3% of this discounted price, 3% of $30. Again, flip it to a decimal and use your calculator. And this is what shows up on your calculator, 0 0.9. That's the same as 90 cents. So our tax is 90 cents. Now, if you find your tax, add it to the discounted price. So these two would just be added together. There you have it. There's your final sales price. Now, we're going to do the same thing with the sweater, $19 original price, but it's discounted 25% with a 6% tax. So find the discount. 25% of $19. That's what we'd multiply. That's how much our discount is, $4.75. So what do we do with the discount? Subtract it from the original price. So it's going to be 19 minus $4.75. So it's this original minus our discount. This is how much you're going to be paying before taxes. So we call this our discounted price. Now, find tax on the discounted price. So in this case, it's 6%. So 6% 6 of 1425. Flip that over to a decimal for the percentage. There you go. Multiply it. And we get 0 0.855 on our calculator. So since we're dealing with money and that's tax, we need to round to the second decimal place to the nearest cent or the hundredth. That five would say, hey, please take a penny and flip an extra on top of 85 cents. That would make it 86 cents. So what do we do with the tax now? Add it to the discounted price. So this discounted price and the tax, these two are added up. $15.11. That's our price after discount and tax. One more just in case you need it. Um, the original price of a purse, about 150 bucks, 149.99. Discount 40% tax is 5%. So find our discount. Again, we've got a rounding situation that's too long for money. So this six would say, please throw another penny onto $59.99. So another penny would make that $60 even. Again, we're throwing a penny on top of that because the six would tell us to round up. So again, 60 bucks even. Now, subtract that $60 from the original price, and that's how much you're going to be paying for that purse. That's the discounted price before tax. So now please find the tax of the discounted amount. So of the discounted price, $89.99, uh, we need 5% of it. So flip it to a decimal, multiply. Again, we've got a round here. This nine would say throw another penny on top of the $4.49, so that'd be $4.50 add the tax to the discounted price. So the price after discount tax, $94.49.